good afternoon guys welcome back to my channel as you can see i cleaned up the garage i pushed the hatch outside put everything out so i can work on this before i tell you what i'm doing to that is now you see what i'm doing hit like hit share and subscribe smash the like button all right guys so basically i'm taking the motor out i'm using the transmission the motor do have a valve that's messed up uh later on i want to fix it and but that's the thing it used to be a good friend of mine alex he had a bad accident right here in the corner boom destroy this believe it or not save his life i mean you should see the wheels and everything else look this bed right there that wheels destroyed the inside but basically that's what i'm doing today nothing much nothing special it's a shame because that car was used to be very, very nice clean car i mean you know nothing left of it i mean he saw it uh, so i still in it for parts here there you know what i mean everything's almost got it out of the car when he's left over the more important thing is the motor and i'm taking that out put it to my collection over there so you know if you go through my collection now you can see even better i got so you know you know that one the k beat the killer that i'm building for the hatch this is the other motor for the other hatch there you go my v18 v, uh, ls another k with a k24 with a k20 uh stock k i got more mo i got another block there i got two more motors over there blocks and now i got this one so you know i do collect motors but they're all going somewhere you know what i mean they're not just saying here and i'll show you right now good example this one right here it is going on a the blue civic wide outside for that gentleman right there right see you later that's a transmission for it this right here going with that on the white hatch over there that transmission is going on the crx and uh that with that tranny back there and that one of the turbo hatch that right there is going on the integra right outside right here that's going to be for sale with that k20 and using the five speed transmission so with that said i got a lot of shit to do short short time i want to post you right over here somewhere and i'm going to go at it taking the motor out and ripping it off I already started took the radiator off took the alternator somebody already took the harness the motor mount you can see this one the impact got bent and messed up i gotta go underneath take the axles take the headers off and take the other motor mount so i can rip it off i don't have to take literally the the sauce off i'm just gonna take the headers from here because it's going to be loose, I just got to go downstairs and loosen the axles. And then, whoosh, motor's going to come right out. Everything else is already taken off. I mean, thank you for the scavenger that came before me and just took everything out. But now, it's time to take that thing out. I got the cherry picker ready. Just sit down and relax. Cool.
That happens. I'm okay. I didn't broke the I didn't broke the feet or nothing. It's just peeing like a bitch. I got a little well, Eduardo coming over to help me out. Well, he's gonna do it by himself because I gotta do you know, put pressure on my feet. Put the hub back on. Put the tires on. Lower the car and move it forward. And clean the garage. Maybe work by yourself. And watching the video, you can see when I pulled it, the back end of the, of the, of the cherry picker came up. And I realized that. And that's why it came up on me. I couldn't hold it. All right, guys. I have Eduardo here. Eduardo, right over there. He's helping me out. So you can see in the light. Right there. See how it looks like a basketball hit my leg. Ah. I'm good. I mean, we got her over here too. <clears throat> the only thing that I had having take out of there it was the axle he's doing right now. Hey, bro, if you can, if not, just leave it. Fuck, leave it there. And uh, the 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 cables, everything else is out. Do you have a punch set, like a little punch? Uh. Damn. I, I I got one, but thinking where the fuck is it? Is rusted in there? No. You know you can use Acura Integra axles. Really? Yeah, that's what I've been using. I use those just in case I want to keep them. But like that one is busted, right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna keep that for for core. Fucking thing, bro. This thing is about 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I knew it was gonna get it on me. Like a hate relationship with his motors. You know, somebody changed the water pump on this. Really? Yeah. This is not a Japanese motor. It's not. No. I don't know Look, they it. Is it the a Japan motors, like the one, like my son, mm -hmm. comes right here, comes the little sticky, so it can go across. And this one doesn't have it. This is a Type S a water pump, but this oh, is not a. Yeah. That's a K, regular K twenty four. It looked like he got bigger injectors in there. So? Oh yeah, the RDX. I think they're like 410. Cool. No longer, no more I'm doing uh, taking photos of cars with nobody else. It's painful. See where the motor is, that's where I landed up right there. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, let me see the, the, the... Yeah, let me see the, the, the... Hold on. Fuck. Oh. 
Marcus is yeah. It's like you gotta go that way. Different? Yeah. Look. You know what, bro? Yeah. Grab, grab that little crowbar. Put that screw so it doesn't move, and then there we go. We move to towards the back of the area. Keep going. Keep going. And then, like right here, look. Look how far you are from it. You see right here. This is where the hole is. This is where you, where you have to be. The hole is right there. You have to be right here. So I need to go like diagonally, basically. Yeah. All right, guys. I, I gotta be the camera guy right now. You can tell that the chassis bent because right there in the corner is like this. Look, a little bit right there. Right here. The chassis bolt up. And he was missing uh what the fuck is he? That's from that, where you hit that, that, that tree or whatever you hit. That's what happens when it gets so hard to get stuff like this done. Especially when that car got hit in that corner right there. Woo. Look, even broke the the sway, uh, sway bar link is broken. Oh. Yeah. It was like a big wreck. But you still have the sway bar or no? The sway bar still there. There's what's left of it. This is the only part that I use. Never again. Never again. Do an engine swap by myself. All right, guys. We got Danny here backing us up, helping Eduardo. <laughs> Isn't Danny? <laughs> Dennis. What's your name? Dennis. Huh? Dennis. Danny. Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> you know, no comes to name name, Flaco. Yeah, just call me Flaco. Flaquito, Flaquito. That's why I was messing with you the other I talked to Danny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already bad with names. Shit. You gotta see when I, I used to work with a bunch of um, Jays, I had Joel, I had Jose, I had Dotra, I had like seven different people with seven J. You know what I used to do? Yo, J1, J2, J3, get over here. You heard that? That was a bolt. 
you lift up the rear? Yeah, but I think you just want to do that or maybe try sticking it up. Did you see what brand was it? That was one of the You said it should be lighter to push. Take the just forward, forward. I need to close my garage for the night. That's all. Easier, lighter, keep going, keep going. Hit the motor if you want to. I don't go. There we go, right there. I'm hungry, I'm going inside. Woo. Guys, this is Eduardo. And that's his nickname, his little flaquito over there. Because I cannot pronounce his name for shit. But thanks to those two guys that came out and helped me out. My leg, hopefully tomorrow, is going to be sore like a motherfucker. But for listening, at least I can walk on it, you know what I mean? That's the best thing, I didn't break it, bro. I was afraid of that. When I got pinched there, my head goes, fuck, you got to get that motor out of you. I went, whoop, put the motor off. It was attached to the chain. So I moved the motor away from me. I got up, came walking over here, turned off the, the, the camera, and I walked inside. Then when I run in a rush, I sit it down. I got dizzy. I got like, you know, about to pass out. I'm like, fuck, bro. Good but uh, after that, I drink a couple of pills for pain, take a shower, sit down and work. But then my dog <laughs> is not on the couch, right? We, I'm sleeping there. And I feel somebody sitting on the couch. I saw my wife turn around and my dog. I said, what are you doing here? You know, you're not supposed to be on the couch. But, so you always got good people like that around you. Gucci will come to you, bro. Mission got done. Took a couple good parts, like those side skirts. I was telling him the sauce system in this car is good. Um, the keychain, if you, the yeah, keychain is over there. Huh? I need to fix my drawers. Why? What happened now? It's just too fucking loud, bro. Dude, try this gun too. Yo, he ain't gonna need that, that keep up? Probably not. Alright guys, have a good night. Thank you for everything. Subscribe, hit share. Watch this video on his on his B20 that we're building. And uh, I don't know, Frost. Hopefully we're gonna go bigger thing with his car. I got a feeling for that. Give us up. Alright guys, good morning. Hi right, guys, good morning. Today, today, oh my god. So, I feel like last night wasn't the way to finish the video, so I'm doing it today. My leg is a lot better. It's just a little bit bruised. I can walk. First of all, I want to say thank you who deserves it. And I want to start with my son Manny because when I fall down, my first phone call was from my son Manny. Because one is the only son that I have around here. Ivan is in Orlando, so I can not make it over here. Leave me on time. But Manny came in, and the reason I called my son <coughs> is when I, my motor fell down, he pinched me. I pushed the motor, the motor stayed on the hook, on, on the rack, and everything attached to each other, and I couldn't move. I mean, I moved, but I, the, I couldn't, I was so much in pain, I couldn't move the motor back. So Manny came over, and he did that for me and his boss thank you guys i don't know your name but thank you guys you guys came in put that back the second two person i want to i want to help say thank you and i see a good future with these two kids is eduardo because i called him up he stopped what he was doing he came over and we put that on and danny or little flaco i'm having a hard time pronouncing your name he also came over and we were able to, he was, these two kids were able to put that together. Those are my next generation of tuners. Those are next generations of Honda guys. And you know what? I'm proud to teach you guys whatever I can to get this generation of cars second chance and get the electric cars coming up. Maybe you guys are going to be the guys to put those cars to, I don't know, 2,000 horsepower or something in the future. I'm talking shit out of my ass, but... Besides that, guys, the accident happened somehow. I don't know what happened, but you can see the scratches on the floor. The whole thing came over that way. It is done. It is done. It's an accident. Never work by yourself. That's what I learned. I can walk. As you can see, I'm walking perfect right now. And that's the best thing about it. This car 
because of the hit was in this corner. Stuff frame is bent. Um, the lower control is burned. We found, I found this on there. Well, you know, no, I hope this doesn't came with it from the transmission because if not, the transmission is not good. Um, we found something else. So we'll see it around here. It's a big plaque. It looked like that, but bigger. Um, I don't know where it went. But this is concerning me because this is broken there and there. And this looks like something will go in the tranny himself to hook up to the axle. I hope, hope, I hope. This thing came out of the axle of the transmission. Because then I'll be fucked. Alright guys. Well, I'll let you know the next step. I'm going to get better. As soon as my son Manny get up and fix this shit. I mean, <laughs> I don't fix this shit. Get up and he can move all this stuff out. Because I, I'm, I'm staying away from the foot. I'm going to go sit down and relax. I can tell you more about what happened and where this come from. I got a feeling that's from the inside of the axle. All right, guys.